This video is kindly sponsored by MPB. I have this knack of being able to find secret hidden spots in the Forest of Dean, but they're always in such small, awkward, chaotic places where it's just very tight, there's not a lot of room to move around, to set up, to photograph, and this here is no different. I've come across this cascade and it's actually man-made as we've got a stone wall on both sides of this stream. I don't know what this was at some point in time, but this is pretty thick, dense forest. We're way off a main path right now, so I don't know what this once was, but this is quite a nice find. I'm going vertical here and I'm using these leaves, this plant, as foreground subject. And I'm gonna take a shot that is stacked, so focusing for the front and the back so that the image is sharp throughout. But I'm also gonna show you an unstacked version of just focusing on this plant here, as in one of my previous videos, a few of you said that you would have preferred to see the unstacked version of a shot I took. And I understand that a stacked image like this isn't necessarily natural looking necessarily, you know, with your own naked eye. If I focus on this plant, then yeah, the water in the background is not tack sharp. So I'm gonna show you both versions and then I might try a horizontal shot as well to give this water a bit of room. But honestly, it's sort of leading into empty space, which is why I've gone vertical to begin with. So I feel it might just be a waste of space, really. It's not really going to add anything. But we're going to experiment with that while we're here as well. So I really want to get another perspective, a different angle of this cascade, this stream. And I'm going to utilize the messiness, the chaoticness of nature. We've got this huge tree that has fallen across this stream. And I'm going to utilize it as additional subject interest and for framing. I've got this great position here where if I look through all these trees, I can see that cascade in the middle, in between them in the background. And I find this perspective is just so interesting. I'm going to play around with my composition a bit. I can zoom in and do quite a tight crop and just have two tree trunks sort of crossing the frame of this image with the cascade in between them in the back. Or I can go a bit wider. I really like this mossy branch that's going up the left hand side there and then joining that one that's going over the top. Well, this is a bit of an accidental vlog, to be honest. I didn't plan on filming today. I came out for a scout to explore a new area, and I'm glad I brought my gear with me, though, because we have found a couple of uh, images today, which is fantastic, but I haven't given myself a huge amount of time to explore further. And so my main priority right now, before the weather turns, we've got some thunderstorms rolling in. My priority now is to figure out where on earth the car is, because <laughs> not gonna lie, I have no idea where I am. Alongside my talent of finding unique spots in the forest, I also do have a great sense of direction.
I'm stuck. I definitely did not come this way. Eventually, I did find my way back to the car, but don't worry, I wasn't quite finished with this area yet. Welcome back to outdoor and nature photography just being the most awkward thing possible. Now, when I approach my woodland photography, I do so with the intent of going for a walk for a scout with my gear, of course, just in case, but without any expectations, any pressure, any goals, just to see what I can find. And that usually works as it did in the first part of this video. I will come across a scene that I didn't expect and be very happy and pleasantly surprised. Now, if I approach woodland photography as I accidentally have done this morning with intent and expectation, I want to get this type of shot and this type of composition, you will fail most of the time. In sort of tunnel visioning yourself into one or two ideas, you close yourself off to other possibilities, other ideas, things that you probably wouldn't have expected to notice or capture, such as this scene here. Luckily I put my macro lens in my bag this morning so we were obviously supposed to use it today. Now I have reversed my tripod centre column so that I'm working upside down but it means that I can get really really low, pretty much on the same level as this mushroom. This is a fairly simple shot I would say but I really really like it and a completely different perspective to what we've already captured in this video. You know we've gone wide general landscape woodland shot and now we're getting really sort of intimate to the forest floor. I'm manually focusing and I'm also using a delayed timer of about two seconds just so that I don't cause any intentional camera shake when I press the shutter as we're working with something that is so close up, so small and so intimate. There are a couple more here as well, but I'd say compositionally it's not really that dissimilar from the shot that we just took, so I think we're probably going to skip these and go see what else we can find. The weather is bizarre. We've got the sun coming out behind, and then I don't know if you can hear the rumble of thunder overhead, but hopefully some rain doesn't come along with that thunder. Now obviously I haven't just rocked up to this forest and found compositions straight away. I have been walking for quite a few hours over the past couple of days exploring, but obviously I don't show you that because it would be quite tedious to watch, but also it is very, very hot and humid and I don't think you want to watch me sweat. So I'm going to turn you off and hand you over to today's sponsor while I go and uh, hike up a pretty large hill and see what else we can find. MPB is the largest platform to buy, sell or trade in your used video or photo kit. They buy directly from you, photographers, videographers, creators, creatives, and they have a team of specialists that evaluates the stuff you send in before it is resold and put back out there for somebody else to use. I recently bought a Nikon Z30 and a 16 to 50 mm lens from MPB. I'm over the moon with it. I have been using it for this video. It is replacing my Sony ZV-1 as my new filming camera. So I'm quite confident that I'm keeping this camera and we can now say goodbye to the Sony ZV-1. So let's go and do a quote, package it up and uh, send it on its way. It's easy and hassle-free to do a quote with MPB and within minutes you can arrange to have your kit collected. All you need to do is package all of the relevant gear. Bye bye ZV-1. If you, like me, are ready to pass on some kit or looking to add something to your camera bag, then head on over to MPB.
I like to apply a childlike approach to my photography. You may have noticed, <laughs> but children find everything fascinating. Everything is amazing. And you know, from the tiniest leaf to a pathway, they want to go and explore. And I feel as though when I apply that to my photography, I come up with composition ideas and image ideas that I probably wouldn't have thought of otherwise, just like this here. I originally spotted this fern here and I liked the way it's just being piled upon by all of these leaves and it almost looks like it's trying to surface and breathe from the amount of growth and foliage we have here. But as I was framing up a shot, I noticed how the yellow leaves were really standing out among all of the other colours, the greens and the browns. And then I spotted this shot. I've taken an idea that's quite busy and chaotic and it's led to something that is much more simple and minimal and much more effective. We've just got this one yellow leaf that stands out among this dark green foliage. And this is such a beautiful shot, I think, to end on. I'm gonna try a 16 by nine crop and a square crop for this. I think this is quite nice, but uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this tree coming out of this rock. That's crazy. And for another time. I'm off guys. I have run out of water because I'm, I'm just really thirsty. Do you know when you drink huge amounts of water but you're still so parched? That's me right now. It's because it's so hot and humid. So I'm going to head off. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you MPB for being today's sponsor and uh, I'll see you next time.